Hello guys, welcome back to Silent Studios once again. This is Aman Kit Key. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to import and use my new 100 plus rich skin tone gradient map. So without wasting much more time, let's jump into the video. So first of all, if you don't have your gradient bar here, quickly move to your window bar up here and then search for gradient. So once you click on it, this thing is going to open at your right corner. So without after after doing that, what you have to do next is move to the three bar here at that same corner click on it and then come to import gradient so when you click on import gradient it's going to take you to your directory folder where you place your downloaded file that you downloaded from my digital store and i also want to thank you for purchasing it yes i really appreciate so now let's import it so i place mine at the desktop so i just have to click on it and then load so after loading you are going to see it in photoshop and then it's 100 plus so you can you have varieties to choose from or the one that's going to match your skin tone so this is a sample image i want to show you guys how to go about that so for you to match your skin tones or make your skin tone better and enrich what you have to do is move to the move to your adjustment panel here and then choose gradient maps so once you choose gradient map automatically it's, it's going to look very very bad so that's when you have to choose the gradient or the kind of skin tone that is going to work for you so you click in between and then because we've installed it into photoshop i'm going to have it here so we open the second one as well and then this way we are going to make our choice so we can start by clicking by clicking and for each gradient you can adjust it how you want it you can drag the highlights you can drag the shadows you can drag the mean tones and for this this is the shadows this is the mean tones is the highlight so depending on your image and how your image look that's what is going to determine how you are going to regulate this so let's move forward so for this image i think let's see i want something a bit brighter so it's going to take a, a little time because you can't just wake up and then choose a skin tone for any image you have to look for a perfect one that is going to match it so let's see let's say i choose this and then you click ok and before you click ok make sure it's matching your image so for this i think i'll drag in the shadows a little and then my mid tones to a little then drag in my highlights yes Bring my highlights a little and i click ok and once you click ok that's not it you have to come to your blending mode here and you select color sometimes soft light works but i'll i'll suggest you go for color because color is what works for me and i'm sure it's going to work for you as well so after selecting your blending mode which is the color you can see the effect is being applied to all the parts of the image which is no good so what you have to do is you have to invert the layer mask and then now you have to brush the effect so to invert this layer mask you have to press ctrl or command i if you are using a mac but i'm using a windows so mine is ctrl plus i after doing that you have to go for your brush yes and then make sure your flow is 100 your opacity is 100 and then to make a perfect brushing or reveal effect perfectly you have to click on the slash key on your keyboard 
I'm going to give you a red max whereby it's going to reveal where you should brush and where you should not. So right now we've not done any brush and that's why the red max is being applied on every part of the image. But once we start brushing, you're going to see it's going to take off. So before you brush, make sure your foreground color is on white. You can change that with your X key on your keyboard. Yes. So now it's on white. So now let's brush. So once you are brushing, the effects are started revealing itself. So to save time, I'm going to skip this part and then you guys will join me when I'm done brushing. so now we have to press on the slash key on our keyboard to hide that effect so this is not all that good because i want to save time but i just want to illustrate something to show you guys so after brushing you can see the effect is really really harsh so what you have to do is you have to work on your opacity so you have to decrease it to a perfect figure that looks natural so i think Let's see, text. You can press 3 on your keyboard and then it works for you. So now let's see the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. You can see the rich, the skin tone has become very, very rich. And then it's also even. Yes. So for this, you can even enhance it more by taking your time to brush on the skin tone. Yes. So, before and then after yes, you can take the opacity high if you think the effect is not too much yes, but i think this works perfectly for this image so this is where i'll be ending you guys i hope this video becomes helpful to you and also my product of my desktop store as well and also don't don't forget to refer me to your other photographer friends yes because I want to make more sales as well and, I, and I'm sure this product is going to help you enhance your images so when you check here you can see it's a lot 100 plus yes you have varieties to choose from all right so this is where I'm going to end you guys as I always say it's your man key and I'm out mm -hmm.